All right, let's make some blueberry baked French toast. So the blueberries that we're gonna use for a baked French toast, the underdog of the canned blueberry. So what I did was I took the canned blueberries and I drained off a majority of the liquid, save that, we're gonna make a syrup later, and then I'm using the actual blueberries to put in the baked French toast. Before we add the blueberries though to our beautiful pan of bread and cream cheese, I'm gonna make the custard base first. So the custard base, it can be any French toast dip base that you use in your operations. I'm just gonna make it with some eggs, some brown sugar, some milk, vanilla, all that good stuff. And instead of taking my bread and dipping it, I'm just gonna pour it over my pan of already diced day old bread. Before adding the milk, I wanna whisk it together first, just cause it's easier to whisk with less volume in the bowl. All right, here we go. Oh man, that cinnamon smells so good. Okay, so now we have all the goodies for our egg base. I'm gonna add the milk now. All right, our French toast egg custard is made. Next step we're gonna do is I have this pan of diced day old bread. And this one is whole wheat bread, just whole wheat sandwich bread because this recipe is actually K through 12 compliant. But if you wanna zhuzh it up, use challah, use brioche, use, ooh, use biscuits, day old biscuits. Yeah, that's good. We have our canned blueberries, my favorite. And then we have this diced cream cheese. I wanna just do some dollops. You know, I don't have to go overboard, or I could. <laughs> I like to put the goodies at the top, so I'm gonna take these canned blueberries and just like spread all over. More blueberries, the better. I have my blueberries, look at this. I have my cream cheese and my bread and I'm gonna take this custard and I'm just gonna evenly pour all throughout. Now I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm gonna press. I know this is like, oh my God, this like great fluffy thing. What I'm doing right now is I wanna make sure this bread soaks in that custard base because nobody wants dry baked, you know, French toast bread. That's sad. All right, we have our assembled baked French toast with our beautiful canned blueberries on top. And now we have two options you can do. Choose your own adventure. If you need to make many, many, many servings, like you're a hotel and you got like big time brunch game going on tomorrow, you can make many of these trays and store them overnight covered in your walk-in. They'll hold and then it'll give the bread time to soak up all the custard. If you're just making a few pans for your breakfast service and you know a smaller chain, that's cool. You don't have to hold it in your walk-in. You can take this straight to the oven. It's all about when you want to control your prep flow. All right, we're gonna let that blueberry baked French toast do its thing in the oven for about 50 minutes to an hour. I would check it at 50 minutes and the blueberry baked French toast, like the bread will have risen, it's gonna brown a little bit, it's gonna be a little bubbly on the sides, that's when you know it's done. And while it's baking, we're gonna make the blueberry syrup. So remember that handy dandy blueberry juice from the canned blueberries that we made now we're gonna use this blueberry juice from the can to make the syrup. This is a, such a simple recipe. I'm gonna keep it really simple. Sometimes simple is the best way. A Little bit of lemon juice. And then some cornstarch to thicken it up. It's okay to add the cornstarch cold this way, but if you end up wanting to add the cornstarch in while the blueberry juice is hot, I would mix the lemon juice and the cornstarch together to make a slurry first. Otherwise, it's gonna clump up and get real sad in your pot. All right, now that all of our blueberry syrup ingredients are whisked together, let's take it to the stove. So the consistency we want on this syrup is like a maple syrup. So we're not going for really thick nappe. We just want really thin nappe, just enough to kind of drizzle over that baked French toast in a really beautiful manner. We're not looking for caramel. Look how gorgeous this is. It's like a little 
toasty over the cream cheese. The bread did rise, like I said, so it's nice and soft and billowy and just a plethora of blueberries. I pre-sliced from an extra one I made because I don't wanna share, because I'm gonna eat it all. Um, so I made this extra one, see how fluffy it is. You can actually take that blueberry syrup that we made, I put it in a really nice, easy, squeezy bottle, and I'm just gonna kinda give it a little zhuzh. You know, there's other ways to serve this too. Instead of baking it in a full hotel pan, you can actually bake them in different vessels to kind of give it a different feel. So I played around in the kitchen and I ended up baking one in this cast iron. It's got this super rustic look. I can just see this at like a mom and pop or you know your local breakfast nook. So gorgeous. I'm just gonna put a little bit of sauce over it to give it a little extra shine. Or the second way you can do it too is you can bake them in little individual ramekins. So they're all pre-portioned, you know, as a little brunch item, maybe a little mini catering play. You can also do it as a side if someone wanted just a little taste. Thanks for joining me in making this blueberry baked French toast. Can't wait to see what you guys do in the kitchen with your own blueberries and this great recipe.